Hey, what's going on guys? It's Caleb, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a custom ad blocker for whatever website you want to make it for, and um, it's going to be used through Google Chrome through a handy extension called Tamper Monkey. So let's go ahead and get started, nothing to lose. Let's go ahead and go navigate over to um, Google Chrome extensions and go ahead and search for Tamper Monkey. Uh, there'll be a link down below to this website, and so you don't have to go and search it. You can just click the link down below, and while you're at it, click the like button. Don't forget to thumbs it up. Go ahead and install it. Once you install Tamper Monkey, um, you'll have this nice little box in the right-hand corner in your extensions. And what we'll have here, this is the main user interface for it. You won't have any pre-scripts yet but you can make some and you can always download and install new scripts through the Tem Temper Monkeys website and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get started in creating our, no our new script by clicking the new script icon right here and to do this let me go ahead and zoom in here that way we can get a full idea of what I'm writing uh, I think that's a little too far that looks pretty good and let me just go ahead and go over some of the uh, metadata that's right here that's already commented out in the script. So at our name, we're going to want to put our new name for our script. And we're going to be creating, um, I'm going to call this one the Pirate Bay. And I'm calling it the Pirate Bay Ad Blocker because this is exactly what it's going to be. At our namespace, if we were to have a um, website or a, a place where we had our script hosted where we could update or whatnot, we could just go ahead and link it in here. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this default. Version 0 0.1 sounds pretty useful. Um, you can change the version number to whatever you would like. I'm going to leave it as the same. Description, just enter a brief description of what your user script will do. And I'm going to say this script will remove um, all ads or I guess just the side ads will remove uh, all ads on the side and let's go ahead and go back and then at the app match is where it's gonna get a, a little bit not not necessarily complicated but this is where you're gonna want the URL and uh, the app match is gonna whatever is in the app match you, is going to be whatever um, website you want to run this uh, script against. So, for example, I'm going to run it against the Pirate Bay. So let me go to the Pirate Bay's homepage and just copy the URL they have there. And you can always just delete this, paste it in there. And then if you want to add another one, you just do another at match. And I like to do two because um, you don't know what you'll be getting. So you also want to make sure whenever you type in the pirate bay or whatever your website is you want to make sure to add another one with an asterisk so anything that's after the backslash will also get caught in the script too that way whenever you're viewing something um, it won't just be on the home page it'll be on any site within the website and moving on we can go down to our copyright uh, 2012 plus it's not 2012 no more it's 2013 and then you, so obviously put your name here. And that'll be about it for our script. We don't need nothing else in here right now. So let's go ahead and go over to our website and let's go have go ahead and go to the browse torrents. And I'm just trying to go to a certain torrent search if I was going to search something. As you can see there's ads on the left, in the top, and on the right hand side, up in the right hand corner. And as you can see they're not too appropriate as you can see there's half naked ladies right here and there's stupid shit about Mac on the left and what we're going to be doing we're going to be removing the stuff on the left hand side and on the right hand side the middle I'm gonna leave that one for you guys to um, figure out yourselves but it's fairly easy just have a basic understanding of HTML and DOM or which in other words is JavaScript which is document object module um, let's go ahead and get started by right clicking. We're in Google Chrome, so we're going to go ahead and inspect our element. Uh, I had this pre zoomed in for you guys. And let me just go ahead and zoom out a little bit in the uh, HTML code here so you can get a brief understanding of what I'm talking about here and with the div tags. So, whoever uh, made this website, they did a good 
job on referencing. As you can see, they had just chopped it up in three different sections. They have a header, which is obviously the header, which as you can see, if I hover over it, well, there'd be a header up at the top, there'd be a footer at the bottom, and the main content is what we're really focused in on here, which as you can see, the blue stuff that's all highlighted is the main content. So we go to drop this down. We're going to have three new div tags, which are all nested within this first div tag. And another word for nested is that the first div tag is the parent of these of these div tags and these div tags are children as you can see it's kinda like a tree like figure that's why when you click the drop down box there's more and you can just keep clicking the drop down box and get further and further into the site of coding and right off the bat we can already see that the first banner on the right hand side as you can see if I don't hover over it anymore if I hover back over it it's gonna be selected in blue over here that is a, um, an, an additional div tag that's nested in the I, uh, content div and so this is the right hand side banner so we already know where that's at and located so that's just gonna make our job easier whenever we're going to be manipulating the website later on through our JavaScript and now we want to just kinda locate for the left side um, let's go to the main content okay so as you can see in the orange that's just telling you that it's within a div and the blue the content is what's inside the main content div itself. So, as you can see, everything that's inside the main content we want to keep because that's where all of our um, torrents are at, you know, all this handy dandy stuff that we're going to download later on. Um, oh, here we go. Right here on the left hand side, we have, we even have a class name that has ads and it's got an ID of Sky Banner. And as you can see, if you look over here on the left hand side, the banner or the advertisement on the left hand side is right there and that, that just made our ourselves a, a whole lot simpler because now we know where both the um, advertisements are located and how we can manipulate them with DOM just take note of the IDs or the class names of these div tags and um, write them down or just memor memor memorize them for later on so now that we've done and located our advertisement you can do this for additional um, additional advertisements on the web page but to make this video as um, fast as possible in a short amount of time we're just going to do the first two right here on the right and left hand side so let's go back over to our um, tamper monkey and let's go ahead and create our script so the first things first we can make a new variable called write and we're going to use document dot get element by id because they both had an id and you want to put one little um, apo uh, comma apostrophe, whatever the hell it's called, little quote it. And you want to, we're going to call it sky right because that's the right hand side of our advertisement. So right here, we're just going to type in the ID that we want to select, and we're going to end it with a semicolon and return. Let me scroll back over so you can see. And we're going to make another one called var or another variable and call it left. And we're going to do the same exact thing of document.getElement. Make sure that you capitalize them or else it won't call. And uh, get element by ID. And this ID was um, sky banner, as you can see. If I were to zoom in here, sky banner is the ID of this one. So we just type in sky banner. And what this will do, this will give a reference pointer to um, locate what we're talking about later on whenever we go to remove these div tags. And next thing, we're going to make another variable. And we're going to call this one mom, or we can call it parent, or we can call it whatever you want to call it. And this will be the parent of these two children. And now, some of the content, as you can see, if it's in a different div tag, it's going to have a different parent. But if, um, like if it was down here in the footer, and there's an advertisement down here, the div foot, or the ID of foot, would be a different parent than the uh, ID of content. And um, try not to confuse you here, but pretty much, as you can see, this is parent, and then as it's indented, that's the children. And then, as you can see, this is the children of Sky Right, and the iframe here is the grandchildren of the content div. So... Let's go ahead and get back out of this and put that back up. We want to get the parent 
of left and right because left and right are both children of the ID content. So that's good and easy and understandable. But how do we get it? That's the tricky question. And really, it's quite simple. We're just going to equal right dot parent node. And let's go ahead and return it. So we're pretty much almost done here. The only thing we got to do now is just say parent dot remove child. And this is where the, um, the children and grandchildren and everything else I just talked about comes into play. And we're going to remove the parent's child and we're going to remove right first. This will delete the child of parent, which parent is the right parent, which in other words, parent is actually this ID, this div tag of content. We just didn't have to use another document that get element by ID. We could just do it a lot simpler, faster, and easier just by saying write that parent node. So parent dot remove child right will remove the right hand side. And we do parent dot remove child left. As you can see, we're passing our variables through here that we just created. Or, or in other words, we'd have to use document that get element by ID sky right to pass through these param parameters right here. But if we were to move, remove both of these, we would now get everything is gone. And to test your code before you go ahead and save this, um, just go ahead and highlight everything. Command C or copy it, and scroll over to your console right here. And as you can see, you can still see the stuff over here. Uh, I'm gonna clear my console because whatever this website was having some errors. But uh, just go ahead and paste whatever you just created. And I'm gonna go ahead and click Enter. And it has no method, so the object has no method. So something went wrong in our code. Um, as you can see, it's the second line here. It was a capitalization error. Caught that right off the bat. That's why it's key important to have these capitalization in sync. Go ahead and click it again. And as you can see, everything removed. So this is a simple syntax error. Uh, no need to think about it. But as you can see now, the left-hand side and the right-hand side both are ad-free. And there's no half-naked women nor men on the side. So we can go back over here and make sure to fix this. ID. Sorry about that. And that's how you create. Um, that's how you create <laughs> a custom ad blogger for whatever you wanna. Um, for whatever website, really. So if you like the video, guys, make sure to thumbs it up, like it, favorite, subscribe. If you want f new and uh, future videos or similar videos, you know, just leave a comment down below. If you're stuck, um, leave a comment, message me, do whatever. Um, thanks again for watching, guys, and go check out some Code Academy videos that give you a brief touch-up on some of your JavaScript. Alright, guys, until next time, peace.